हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज कैम्ब्रिज चेक पॉइंट प्रोग्रेशन टेस्ट ईयर एट दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द टेस्ट सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन अ सीक्वेंस हैज टर्म टू टर्म रूल एड वन एंड हाफ वन एंड हाफ मीन्स वन पॉइंट फाइव राइट सो द फोर्थ टर्म ऑफ द सीक्वेंस इज सेवन सो दैट मीन्स टी फोर इज सेवन and find the eighth term so make sure you underline the keywords here eighth term we are looking for the eighth term so uh, t5 first of all after t4 fifth term is going to be uh, 7 plus 1.5 because rule is add 1.5 so this is 8.5 right then t6 sixth term 8.5 plus 1.5 that is 8 plus 1 9 and this one Uh, that is 10 and t7 is 10 plus 1.5 that is going to be 11.5 and t8 is 11.5 plus 1.5 again 11 plus 1 12 and this 0.5 0.5 1 more that is 13 so final answer is going to be 30 right now number 15 Here is a Venn diagram. You see this Venn diagram. We have rational numbers, integers, natural numbers. So write each of these numbers in correct place on the Venn diagram. We are given these number. We are going to put them here. So first of all, we will see this rational number. So every number is included in rational number. So but who are not there in integers? So first of all, we will just write down the rational numbers here. So rational numbers are the numbers that can be written as a fraction so this third 0.32 can be written as a fraction so 0.32 then uh, we have 192.192.7 and also 1 over 5 okay because when you divide it this will be 0.2 so now the whole numbers whole numbers we have here is uh, natural numbers are 7 and 350 so 7 and 350 and now we are left with the negative 3 negative 3 is an integer right question number 16 the diagram shows two right angle triangles abc and ebd and a straight line bcdf straight line is here bcdf abc triangle is this abc this smaller triangle ebd is this bigger triangle work out the size of angle f angle f is here give a geometrical reason for each step of your working uh, so now we will see what is f first of all uh, because this is a straight line we can find out this angle this angle is 180 minus 124 because they are on a straight line so they will add up to 100 180 uh, so when you subtract this is 7 here minus 5 56 so this angle is 56 now f will also be 56 so f is also 56 degree because um, this is angle on a straight line so we got this one and then this angle edc or edb you can say Uh, and f are corresponding so this and this angle are corresponding now we will write down the reason that angle e d c and angle f are corresponding angles corresponding angles right so that's why uh they are there uh they are supplementary and how we did find out this so you can write one more reason there because this is three marks question so we can say that 124 and angle edc are on a straight line if they are on a straight line then that means they add up to um uh, 180 i think you should write this one first here and uh, reason and then you can write the second one right now number 
make m the subject of the formula so we have this equation here is 5 m minus 3 now m is inside the bracket to make m the subject m should be outside so we will expand the bracket 5 times m is 5 m then minus 5 times 3 is 15 right so now you shift 15 to other side so this will become t plus 15 over uh, equals to 5 m now divide by sorry divide by 5 divide by 5 so this 5 and 5 is gone so you have m is equal to t plus 15 over 5 so it's t plus 15 over 5 or you can even write it like if you divide t over 5 5 will divide both of them plus 15 divided by 5 it's 3 so any of these answer is correct so we have number 18 here lily sells toys on an online shopping site uh, here is the star rating of one of the toys she sells uh, one star to five star then we have number of people here lily calculates the average number of stars for this toy uh, using the mean this is 3.6 star uh, lily wants to use an average that gives higher than 3.6 star complete this statement the highest average lily could use is it can be a mode which is and the value of this is five stars so higher than 3.6 higher than 3.6 is four star and five so and highest out of among that is 34 is the uh, mode so, and it is five stars right a different average lily could use she can also use mean she has used mode we have written here what is left we have median here so median and value of this average is so for this you want to use more than this 3.6 more than 3.6 is here which is 4 value 6 so the answer will be 4 here okay before we start this question i would request you guys to subscribe to my channel if you are new to the channel and please write in comment section your feedback so i will wait for your comments and now let's do number 19 and the diagram shows parallelogram a b c d on a grid you see this diagram and draw the enlargement of the parallelogram with the center of enlargement 1 0 and scale factor of 2 so center of enlargement is 1 0 1 0 is this point so this is center and scale factor is 2 so we are making twice the length so uh, from the center whenever you draw the enlargement so you measure so you see this is 2 times 2 so we have this is 2 uh, centimeter half from here so times 2 because scale factor is 2 so multiply by scale factor so 2 times 2 it will become 4 so this is going to be here this point this point came here right and similarly from here the other point if i measure this one here so you see from here this point d is uh, um, 3 so 3 times 2 is 6 so 6 is here so it is going here um, this point okay so now once you got two points then it's easy to draw the diagram so this way and this is 1 uh, 1 2 3 so 3 units uh, 3 times 2 is 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this point will come over here again 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so then you just join this so that is the shape after enlargement i hope you guys understood so let me repeat again so you are going to measure it from the center center of enlargement that is given to you you choose any two corners any two like it should be uh, the same you see it should on the uh, same distance times scale factor times 2 here is a square e f g h you see this not to scale e f g is drawn on a grid so that e is uh, at 17 so this point is 17 30 and h is at 17 33 right draw uh, e f g h is then translated three units right and four up three right and four up 
सो थ्री राइट गोइंग दिस वे एंड फोर अप इज अपवर्ड ड्रॉ अ रिंग अराउंड टू कॉर्डिनेट्स दैट आर वर्ड्स इज ऑफ द स्क्वायर आफ्टर दिस ट्रांसलेशन सो वी आर लुकिंग फॉर द वर्ड्स इज सो लेट से आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ई ई वैन ई इज वी हैव सेवनटीन एंड थर्टी सो वेन यू मूव ई थ्री यूनिट्स राइट थ्री यूनिट्स राइज मीन्स दिस एक्स इज गोइंग टू मूव थ्री यूनिट्स राइट सो दैट विल बिकम सेवनटीन प्लस थ्री दैट इज ट्वेंटी सो ट्वेंटी वी हैव हियर for the 20 we have this coordinate and we have this coordinate now if you move three right this one so what will be the other one so three and why four up four up means you are adding 30 plus 4 that is 34 so that means we have this coordinate here okay so the other one other one can be like from here h is 17 and 33 so other one may be uh, let me see again if you move this three units then this 17 will become uh, sorry 20 will become 23 and 34 will become 37 so we will have 23 and 37 the final answer right question number 20 uh, students from class p and q were asked to solve a puzzle Uh, the time in seconds to solve the puzzle is recorded for each student the stem and leaf diagram shows the results for class p so we have class p here um 1 2 3 4 and then we have this side uh, 4.2 42 represents 42 seconds so this is the time uh, to solve the puzzle so now complete these statements the shortest time for class p is for class p shortest time shortest time here you see the and this is 13 second 14 second 15 so shortest time is here 13 second so that will be 13 second the longest time for class p is going to be this one that means 4 8 which represents 48 so that is 48 seconds now dash percentage of the uh times for class p are longest than 36 second 36 second is here so longest than that is 1 2 3 4 value so that is going to be 4 over 16 because total outcomes are 16 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and we are looking for percentage so that will be times 100 4 times 4 is this and 25 so 25% is going to be the final answer right uh, so now we have part b here class p have more consistent times than class q write a possible value for the range of time for class q so range of the class can be it is uh, 48 minus 13 it is 35 right so uh, part c the median time for class q is 34 seconds using this result write a comparison between the times for class p and class q you must use data to support your comparison so we can see that we are given here the median so median of uh, q is 34 and median of p let's say what is median of p here are we given mm, no median is not given so let's see so median will be this i will going to just strike it off yeah so 27 plus 29 divided by 2 mm, 28 right so we can see here median for this one is median for p is 28 so we can write the median for class the median for class p is 28 seconds so class p is quicker question 21 solve 
this so we need solve means we need value of x here uh, so don't get panic here you just need to expand the brackets here 10 times 2 is 20x minus 10 times 3 is 30 so 133 minus 2x plus 1 right so now shift x on one side and constant terms on other side so 20x plus 2x equals to 133 plus 1 is 134 plus this 30 right so this is 22x this is going to be 464 so x is 164 divided by 22 so now we can simplify it mm. 82 divided by 11 times 7 77 decimal 0 mm, 44 then there is 6 0 5 4.7.45 that is the answer right now number 22 that's the last question of this paper so I will wait for your comments guys please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends number 22 a wheel on Eva's bicycle has radius of 300 and this is a wheel and radius is 311 millimeters right uh, the wheel makes 15 complete revolution as she travels on a straight line so, so let's say it starts from here so this is a one complete revolution one it's moved so it will cover this much distance and wheel makes 15 complete revolutions so this times 15 so this is one lap of this and then times 15 calculate distance that eva covers so we are just going to find out uh, here the circumference of the circle first so circumference is um, you know the formula 2 pi r right so 2 pi times r is 311 okay so uh, 2 times Two times uh, pi times 311 so I'm just going to write down the value as I don't have calculators sorry guys now here so I have already calculated that uh, this is 29 300 millimeters right but we need our answer in meters so to divide by when you divide millimeters by 100 that will uh, 10 and that will become centimeter and then from centimeter to meters that will be dividing by 1000 so when you divide by 1000 this will become 29.3 meters so 29.3 right so i tried my best to explain every question i hope you guys understood please like share and subscribe Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless you guys.